The story begins when a mysterious yellow bottle washed up on a shoreline. Then two yellow bottles. Three yellow bottles? You get the point. Tons of yellow bottles are washing onto South Florida shorelines. Why? At first glance, they could be mustard bottles. Look closely and you'll notice a clue. Vinaigre. Confused? Hang in there. This story affects you. Right now, our Earth faces a monumental crisis. And that crisis is plastic. Plastic plays many roles. It contains things, it carries things, it connects things, it's used for just about everything. But did you realize one ton of plastic enters the Earth's oceans every 60 seconds? Think about that. One ton every 60 seconds. That's a lot of plastic. Meet Alex. He's 26, lives to surf, and taught his dog to do this. And this is Andrew. Andrew surfs whenever possible. He's 27, and his idea of fun involves these guys. Both love the ocean, met on a boat dock, and started this, a company dedicated to cleaning the ocean seven days a week. And this is Haiti, a small cluster of Caribbean islands widely known for a devastating earthquake in 2010. Now meet Ed. Ed is Haiti's unofficial superhero. He's hell-bent on saving his country and its people. So when Ed met Alex and Andrew, it felt like destiny and a partnership was born. So Ed, Alex, and Andrew boarded a boat in search of plastic. On this journey, they discovered an island inhabited by a boy whose favorite toy was a discarded keyboard and whose backyard looked like this. See anything familiar? Yellow vinaigre bottles everywhere. How did they get here? Like this. Haiti has over 10 million people sharing a space roughly the size of New Jersey. And doing as humans do, they consume and discard the plastic from which they consumed. Except in Haiti, the only place to put that plastic is on the street. And when it rains, it pours. And when it pours in Haiti, this happens. Rivers of plastic push through the city, out into the ocean, and land on a nearby island. Except often, that island isn't near at all. Sometimes that plastic sails across the Atlantic Ocean and ends up on Florida's coastlines. And sometimes, two local surfers get fed up finding these plastic bottles on their beaches, do some quick research, discover a trash-riddled Caribbean island named Haiti, brainstorm a way to help that island, and then travel there and meet Ed. And together they devise a plan to pay locals to pick up trash, build Haiti's best recycling infrastructure, and inspire a movement to restore our oceans. Today, we are for ocean, and our mission has spread. From large cleanups in Haiti to stimulating Bali's economy through recycling, our goal is simple. Clean the Earth's oceans, one yellow bottle, one piece of plastic, and one pound at a time.